What's up guys, it's Chris and welcome back. Today we are out at Malulabo and Ruchidor on the Sunshine Coast and we're gonna do a 12 hour accept every order challenge. Very excited to do this one. It is currently optimum weather for delivery driving. We have a look around, we have rainy skies. No one wants to be outside today, so hopefully it's busy. So I've just had to jump back into my car. Unfortunately, it just started to bucket town rain on me. So let's explain the challenge that I'm doing. I'm doing 12 hours straight of delivery driving for DoorDash today and I will accept every single order that comes in. This is the good, the bad, and the ugly. So the orders where I'm like, hell no, I would never take that, I'm taking them. So examples of this would be if I see a KFC order pop up in peak dinner time, I'm gonna take that, I'm not gonna avoid it. If I see an order that's dropping me so far out of zone, it's ridiculous, I'm taking it. If I see a low ball order where it's less than a dollar per kilometer, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it. Don't want to, but I'm going to. So I'm just about to log on. I'm going from nine o'clock in the morning to nine o'clock at night, all 12 hours across. Weather currently is horrendous on the Sunshine Coast. It is miserable. It is just raining, miserable, horrid day. No one wants to go outside in this, so everyone's gonna be staying at home and ordering food, hopefully. So let's log in and get our first order. Ah, uh, okay, cool. First one is in. It is for $21 for just over 15 kilometers, uh, but this one also drops me severely out of zone too. But rules are rules, let's get this. Now guys, I also mentioned this hits the trifecta. It's a pick up from a shopping center too. So we're picking up from a shopping center, not so great. We are getting dropped outside a zone from this one. Oh, it. okay, let's just do this. Good morning. Hey, I just got a DoorDash pick up for Tyler D. Okay, guys, just did a drop off and I am severely out of zone. But luckily, I got an out of zone order, which takes me back into zone and it's for Coles Express as well for one item. So this order's lucky to get, but I wonder what the item's gonna be. Okay, so the item we've got is a four pack of Mother Energy drinks. Let's go get this. All right, we'll this. Okay, so quickly, they did not have the 250 mils in stock, but they did have the 500 mils in stock, and they were on special, so it's going to work out better for the customer. They get more, and it's probably going to be around the same price, if not cheaper. So using a substitution well. Hopefully, the customer doesn't mind getting more bang for their buck. Okay, guys, so check this out. Shopping trolley, you know what that means? It means I've just done a shop and deliver at a full Coles supermarket this time. 11 items, I'll throw the screenshot up on the screen, but I'm getting paid for it. But if you follow me around, we'll show you how it's done. Guy, what's that car doing? Avocados, avocados, mandarin. Uh, hey there. Hey, uh, quick question. Um, I'm doing a, I'm doing a DoorDash order. Is there anything that I need to put on the purchases, or that's all just? Ah, uh, no. So do you have the red? Is it a red card? It'll be a red card. Yeah. So yeah. you just got to pay like a normal card and just tap the phone. That's all. Cool. Yeah. Second question: How do I do purchases? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you just go to your fresh produce. Yep. And then just up to M for mandarins, but yep. wherever you are going. Cool. And I just need carry on. Uh, yeah, the apple one. You can, there's normally a name on the bar. I think that, I'll try these ones myself. Yeah, you can, if you don't know how to do it, you can scan the barcode. Yeah, easy, thank you. Quantity needed. And then we can. Alrighty, thanks for that. <laughs> Learning new things every day. Okay, doing the calls drop off, but I got some delivery instructions. I'm not super excited on these delivery instructions, okay? Like, bro, I don't want to see your junk. If you got food coming, man, just put some clothes on. Like, I get it, bro. It's like, yeah, it's funny. Delivery guy's going to see me naked. Imagine if this girl's going to see your car hanging out. Like, f bro. Look, hopefully it's not too disgusting. If he does answer naked or anything like that, I'm just going to give the customer a bad review. But, like, seriously, dude, like, don't do that. I don't want to see that stuff. You may think you're some kind of scored and everyone wants to see it, but, bro, no one wants to see it, I can assure you that. What? Uh, delivery. 
Go on, and it's back to the nudist place again. Jesus Christ. Okay, I didn't see him naked last time. I don't want to see him naked this time. Just fingers crossed, man. Like, I don't want to see his junk. Delivery. Hey, how you doing, mate? I'm good, I'm good. There you are. Have a good one. These roadworks never end. See, I need to get over there. Can I get in there, though? Maybe. Yes, shortcut. So just in transit to a customer on a burger urge order. Um, super nice store, I really like that place. Uh, the only thing is, is normally I would have declined this order because it is sending me grossly out of zone again. But today we accept everything, bro. We take all the orders, all the ones that are just like absolutely horrible to take that just kind of make you not be efficient. But on a bonus, it is still raining. So people are being lazy today. We have customers at home just ordering food because they don't want to go out and they don't want to get wet. So I am back to back right now. It's good, I'm not getting downtime. Just keeping my earnings up right now. Even though some of these orders are terrible. Oh look, there's a bird. Careful mate, they might pull you in and put you into a bucket. <laughs> come on this way, come on. Yeah, that's a good idea, run, fear, fear this place. Fear this place, run. Starting a new franchise called KFP, Kentucky Fried Pigeon. Hey, I just got a DoorDash pick up for Anthony S. Thank you. It's still raining. Check-in time. So it is lunch. I'm in the middle of the lunch rush right now. It is 12.45. I have currently done 97 kilometers so far on this driving shift. And when it comes to earnings, I'm just over $138 and I'm currently on a $14.51 delivery. I'm over $35 an hour right now on rough math. So this is going pretty good. It is still raining, still miserable weather. Everyone's still inside on their couches eating food getting delivered to them so this is good business for me so far breakfast and lunch have been going really well we're going to start moving into the afternoon shift soon and we'll do a check-in before dinner so i just realized a rookie error that i've done because i'm on a 12 hour shift right now i haven't brought any food with me so i need to get some lunch and some dinner at some point so the game plan is we are going to keep working and hopefully we get a coles express or a coles local order at some point that way I can just buy some food to keep myself going while I'm also doing a customer delivery. It is one o'clock in the afternoon though and I'm getting a little bit peckish. So I have plenty of energy. I'm not dying of starvation. Just got another order. Oh, Pizza Hut. Pizza would be so nice to have. All right, let's go get this Pizza Hut order. Hopefully we get another Coles Express or a Coles Local at some point soon. God, I'm gonna have to smell pizza in my car this whole time. That's not fair, bro. It's still raining. Still another rainy day on the Sunshine Coast. Best delivery driving weather ever. I'm good. Go down for Geordie. Oh, thank you. Put that one in there. Cheers. Have a great day. Yep. It's uh, it's still raining out there. It's still wet as hell. Oh, Chris, why don't you just pause your dash and get some food? No because it is 12 hours straight of dashing, okay? No pauses, no breaks, 12 hours of straight dashing. Bro, like I'm so hungry. Like a pulled pork roll, that would go so good. Cheeseburger from Macca's, oh, that'd be nice. I could just eat like ham, like just a leg of ham. That'd be so good right now. Okay, finally got my first stacked order off to a supermarket to get some donuts. And then when I got close, I got an add to root order across from a Chinese place. Normally I wouldn't take this one. It's just a little bit too long. I think it's a little bit cheap. But because we accept everything today, we have accepted adding that on. Heck yeah, let's do it. Uh, DoorDash for Kelly F. Cool, thank you so much. Hey bro, I've um, just got a DoorDash pick up for Zo Zozi RC. Easy, I'll be careful. Yep, you too. At this point, I knew without any food, the whole challenge would be at risk. My energy levels were already dropping, and if I couldn't rely on a shop and deliver order coming in soon, I'd need another solution. Okay guys, big brain, big brain thing, okay? I just did a big brain thing. 
really smart. Doing a Subway pickup, got the Subway, and I was like, can I buy a cookie? So, I bought a Subway cookie for $1.50. Yes, this will, this will maintain me through till at least dinner. Yes. Oh, I'm so good. I'm so happy right now. I'm so happy. I will eat and drive though. I just needed to savor the moment. It's so good. I felt my power returning with each bite of the cookie, but I knew this was only a short term fix. I still needed a shop and deliver order to come through to sort out dinner. 2.50, I just got an order for Thai time. And this one is the furthest send out out of zone that I have had all day. This is heading out past like the airport. This is ridiculous. But we're gonna accept it. Yes, why? Because because that's what we do today. We just accept every order. Even if it's absolutely horrendous, horrible, and you never should, we accept these orders. Because we are now refueled and repowered by a Subway cookie. We are good to go. Got hit with a stacked order for rolled when I was out picking up the one for Thai time, so I had to accept it. And I was like, oh man, like these out of zone orders are just punishing me right now. How to read some of the delivery instructions too. It looks like I'm off to a hotel and they said they're sick, so I need to go find out which unit and which room they're in, which is just going to add on extra like maybe five minutes or something like that. Look, it's 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 part of the gig, guys. Sometimes you get these hotel ones, sometimes you get these difficult drop-offs, but that's what, uh, that's what we do, that's what we do. And we just hang in there and we keep positive and we don't get angry and we don't let anything let us down. We don't let the negative vibes in, bro. We just keep delivering everything today. Everything, everything. I'm okay. Okay, it is in one of these buildings here. Let's try to find out which one it is. Okay, dropped off and we are heading across to our second one, our second order that was on the route. It's not on the route. It's a completely different outer zone area so far away. I uh, did one across to Bly Bly earlier that was super out of zone. This Mark Cooler one is the furthest out of zone, but at least we're heading back towards Bly Bly, which is a little bit less out of zone. Okay guys, four o'clock in the afternoon and I got a Coles local shop and deliver order. So this works out perfect because what that means is I can buy some food for dinner as well. And I'm not just going to be running off one Subway cookie all day long. So I'm going to go down there, I'm going to do the shopping for the customer, and then as a separate transaction, I'm going to pay for some food for myself so I can get fed and get through the dinner rush coming up. Minor substitutions on that last order. There was no rapid Panadol capsule, so I just did the standard non-rapid ones. Did that as a substitute straight through. And there was no cherry tomatoes, and there was not really a substitute for cherry tomatoes. Like, cherry tomatoes are small ones. You can't just give them, like, huge tomatoes. Like, doesn't doesn't work. It's not a close match, even. So I just marked them as unavailable and kept moving on. So let's get this delivered across. Plus, I got my... I've got a sandwich. I've got a sandwich, boys. I'm so stoked, so happy. I get to eat. Chris gets to eat. This is a good day. This is a good day for me. I'm just gonna shoot the customer a text message just saying, hey, this was the dealio, had to switch that, and also these weren't available. The app should have notified them anyway about the cherry tomatoes, but yeah, let's get this delivered. This is my happy face. So I'm on level three, and we are gridlocked because it is 4.30. 4.30, and I forgot that everyone finishes work and tries to get out of this place. Oh, he's nice, he let me in. Thank you, buddy. But he gives me time to eat my sandwich, so I'm quite happy about that, that's good. Sandwich almost done, still stuck in traffic. Almost there. I can see the light, I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, and freedom, we're out of it. We're out of the parking lot. A quick check in. We are at five o'clock. We've done eight hours of delivery driving. We've been going since nine in the morning. So, we have so far earned $282.81, and we have done 195 kilometers on the car so far. We have four hours left. Let's see how far we can push this. We are currently on an order for grilled, so let's go pick this up from the store. Hey, hey I'm doing Jessica. great. Jessica K for daughter. Yep. Grill, <laughs> easy peasy. Let's pop that one in there. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. there we are. Okay. Have a good one. <laughs> oh, it's a close one, almost slipped. Red light. Just because I'm like on a long shift right now, I've really started getting in the zone. I'm just driving, flying from restaurant to customer, to restaurant to customer. Just going boom, boom, boom. 
We are high paced, high energy, and we're gonna kill it on this dinner run. Ni al ma wo hen al sheshe. I'm just going to eat pick up for Gregory W. Gregory, thank you. Have a good one. Hey, I've got two actually. I've got one for Benita and one for Chloe. Yep. Cool. No worries. Thank you for that. What about me? It isn't fair. Hey, uh, I've just got a daughter. I should pick up for James. Yeah. Um, yeah, I said someone uh, for off to find a daughter. I'll order. I'll see how we go. Yep, no worries. No, I know the drill. I know the drill. <laughs> I'm on my 11th hour right now. I am running off a chicken sandwich and a Subway cookie, and I am hanging in there. It has started to slow down a little bit. I've noticed the orders are starting to space out just a tad. My guess is saturation. A lot of drivers are on because it's Saturday night dinner right now. So hopefully we can just get a couple more orders and then we can wrap it up. 11th hour, still in there, still in the game. We are still switched on. We are in it to win it, baby. I have not lost my mind. I have I have not lost my mind yet. I'm still good. I'm still good, okay? As the night went on, orders remained consistent, but there was definitely a lot of competition out. I got a delivery from a local punk and metal dive bar I hang out at, which picked up my energy from hearing some local punk band playing their hearts out. The final order of the night was for a shop and deliver, and the drop-off was close to home, which was good to be paid to get back. By this point, I was completely out of energy. It was time to start to wind down, but first, I needed to do a final tally and recap. Okay, dudes, dudettes, I am done. 12 hours, complete, completely f***ing nailed it, okay? I'm stoked on it. So across 12 hours, we did 306 kilometers. That's important because when we have a look at our total earnings, we need to know what was our earnings per kilometer. Secondly, my brain's not working anymore, okay? I'm tired. I'm tired right now. Secondly, the total amount of fuel we spent was $57.16. Important, because that's our cost to run. Thirdly, Chris, just catch the total earnings, bro. Okay, total earnings across 12 hours was $443.48. I'm gonna pop an earnings per hour average here. I'm gonna pop as well the kilometers to dollar ratio here. Now I'm confident to say that we're earning over $1 per kilometer, which is good. Maybe even 1.5 per kilometer, but it's on the screen the actual calculated figure. I'm just too tired right now to calculate that out myself. I do need to do a shout out though to every single dasher out there that does 12 hours a day, day in, day out, just on the solid grind. You guys are f***ing terminators. You're some machines out there, dudes. You guys are like if Skynet sent a delivery driver back in time to deliver a pizza to Sarah Connor. You guys are Terminators, absolute machines. So kudos to the guys who do 12 hours a day, day in, day out. You guys are absolute weapons out there. My runs are normally very selective. I just pick dinner or I just pick a lunch run here and there because I still have my full-time job. So I just do a little bit on the side. But I wanted to prove today what happens if I take every single order, good, bad, ugly, across 12 hours. And this was the result. I'm pretty stoked with it, to be honest. Well, dudes and dudettes, I always bring up to you is what's more important to you, watching a movie on Netflix or going out there and earning 50 bucks? Well, I've just gone out there and earned $450, so I've earned some well-deserved downtime, and I'm gonna go watch Stranger Things new season that's out on Netflix. I'm just gonna binge it all of Sunday. It's gonna go start to finish, and it's gonna be so good. But that's all for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you get out there and hustle. Keep earning money yourselves. Until next time, guys, peace out. Also need to eat some proper food, still running off just a Subway cookie and a chicken sandwich. Need some real food. Okay, I'm wasting away here.